has to be my PB. Oh, what is she doing? What is good, Greg gang? We're here today. We are in a private pond with some absolute massive houses back here behind me. Let me just show you exactly where I am. So if you wanna know the name of it, don't ask me. I don't even know where we are. All I know is that we're surrounded by some absolute massive houses and there's some really big bass in this pond and they're spawning, which is even better. Now, if you follow my last couple videos, you'll know that I actually fished here a little bit, but right now we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Just make sure that I'm in the center. You ready? Mm -hmm. So we're about to go out there and catch some more. But before I left the house, I grabbed this mystery tackle box. And what's crazy about this one is that usually mystery tackle box, they'll send you a box full of baits for that specific month. But this one, I just went and grabbed one. I have no idea what month it's from. And that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Also, there's a bald eagle over there, but that's not part of the video. That's weird. But yeah, let's go ahead and dive in what's in the box. All right, first thing we got are these tubes. Honestly, it's the first thing I pulled out of the box, but I'm honestly thinking this may be the things I probably start out using and maybe use the whole time depending on how many spawning bass there is. Next, we got these little fluke things. Here's like a little roadrunner head, little spider jig. Here's some frog looking things. Now these could be good because there are some grassy areas way over there. Then we got a popper and we got another frog. Now, if you want yourself a mystery tackle box, use my link down in the description and my promo code. That'll get you $10 off your first box. And that promo code, all caps, gray again. These will all do really good, but I'm thinking for the spawning bass, since I know they're here, probably gonna start out with these tubes. As for how we gonna rig these things, I was thinking maybe a Texas rig, but I just actually remembered, see, where'd it go? I just actually remembered that I have some of these right here. Let me show you how, ow, and let me show you how we're actually gonna rig them. So here's the tube, here's this thing. We're gonna shove this thing up in there. It's not gonna be weedless, but there's not really a ton of weeds here, so shouldn't be a big, big problem. Boom, pretty much just like that. Then I push it through, the eyelet comes out. How does that look? It looks pretty good, don't it? Hold up, there's two right there. I'm gonna catch them. Right, so just set that down somewhere so you can hold this. They're very catchable too. Very, very catchable. Here you go. I'm gonna turn on the GoPro too. You can just stand wherever. I get where I can get you and the, and the water at the same time. All right, well, he's right there, so this yeah. shouldn't take long. Oh yeah, this ain't gonna take long. Oh. oh! There he is. We're gonna name him Johnson and Johnson. Oh my gosh, he's massive. He was he was aggressive too. Let's weigh him real quick. Weigh him. If he will cooperate. Two and a half pounds. That's a thing. Ow. No. Yeah, guys, he was just uh, he was just chilling there, just like any bed and bass would be. I don't know how good y'all saw that, but y'all saw something. There's a lot of them like that, and they get bigger than that too, because that was probably a male, and the females are almost always bigger. So there's a lot of potential here. Oh, there he is. Oh, I did not expect that. I think I, I'll be honest guys, I think I snagged him. He didn't bite it, I just smacked him on the head with an open hook. I definitely just snagged this fish. I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Oh, he's big too. Ow, and he cut me. Oh, no, stay, stay buddy. No, no, no. All right, buddy, nice. Maybe we can get some out of that. I'll let this guy go though. All right, they some big ones. I'm talking. I'm talking five or six pounds. I know, that's what I'm saying. I'm just gonna be honest, guys. I don't know if they wanna bite or not, but if I have to snag them, I'm down, dude. Like, I'm game. I mean, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Dude, look how much this hook bent out. I bent that hook out pretty good. As for me, guys, I'm thinking I'm gonna switch away from this since it's worked so good so far, or at least try to beef up the hook because, listen, dude, that's an eight pound bass over there and uh, I don't wanna risk it. Yeah, let's just check out what exactly is in this box. From looking at what I got in here, guys, I'm just gonna use that tube again and re-rig it with a heavier duty hook. I'm gonna pull out the KG Pocket Knife, available kindlegrade1.com shop, along with the backpacks. These fishing backpacks, dude, up here, it's actually like a refrigerator, but I just put 
whatever in it. I got the batteries so they don't get too hot or too cold. In here, I got the KG waterproof tackle boxes so that none of that stuff's gonna get all salty and rusty and they fit right there in the backpack perfectly. But as for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, put this hook on. We're just gonna keep using that same old bait and then let's go attack that 10 pound bass. Gosh, that's massive. We're gonna catch this fish, I think. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Dude, that thing's massive. That thing's massive. That's my PB, but he's not locked on. No, that ain't a good sign. I just tossed it in there and she took off. We'll give her one more time. And then if she's still scared of it, we're heading out. Yeah, she's terrified. All right, we'll move on to the next one. This is a fighter, dude. The other ones haven't been fighting like this. And this one ain't even that big, I don't reckon. It's a Florida fish, dude. They're like Florida man. They're just fish for him, dude. He's not bad. It just took us a little time to get him. It's a lot better than Kentucky ever had. All right, we're just gonna keep on going because these ponds never end. There's about a hundred of them on these property. Hello, big one. I don't know what it is about these pipes, but we're starting to get on a pattern to where the biggest fish like to hang around these pipes. And this one acts like she's pretty active. What in the world? That was massive. Oh, now I'm hung in this guy's tree. Million dollar house, million dollar tree. They're active, this one's active. He already bit once. I kind of hooked it a little bit, but I didn't hook it nearly enough to hopefully turn it off. Nothing wants to be aggravated to death, so eventually she's gonna react. I'm just trying to slap her on the side of the face. Then she'll have to bite it or something. Oh, oh no. She inhaled it and let it go. All right, we, uh, we uh, break your uh, normal programming to bring you that I accidentally hooked this really big fish and forgot to have the GoPro running. It finally just took enough aggravation to get him to bite, or get her to bite. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good one right there. <laughs> yeah, we definitely should probably weigh that one. And uh, there's one just like it's just sitting there chilling. And so uh, there's literally just a dude walked by and said, have you caught her yet? She's been sitting there for like five days. I'm like, no, not yet. That could be my PB. It's definitely the biggest mouth. We got her. Let's see. She about the third time in the last week was spotted. Really? We'll see how big she is. And let her right back where she was. 4.5 pounds. And there's another one just like her, just as big. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> oh, good for you. <laughs> This big fish may not bite, but she might just do it right here. I'm gonna switch real quick. I'm gonna make a game time decision right here. I just threw back on that big fish with that lure right there. Got a bunch of grass on it, so then I just drag it across the water real slow. And she literally tried to eat the big piece of grass. So what I'm gonna do is cut this off, tie on that frog that they gave me. It might do really good, or she might just not care. I don't know, but we're about to find out. And by the way, the frogs I'm talking about are these not the actual frog there's a chance to catch this fish she may just have it out for a frog or something we'll see if this thing still wants to eat a piece of grass then this thing consider it caught got it i got it i got it she ate it what the heck is this bass eating a frog for she's supposed to be laying eggs now this is my pb has to be has to be my pb Oh, what is she doing? Why is she eating frogs? Oh, 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 oh. Keep tension, keep tension. Never had a bass fight like this. No, that was sad. Oh, well, it happens. We tried. All right, let's go eat lunch. I'm hungry. guys here's what's happening i'm back in the room right now i got this subpar looking sub sandwich i'll give you a little rating real quick i get a little solid two out of ten not happy with it a little stale the cheese not powerful enough but that's not what's important 
What's important is the ham. 10 out of 10, can't go wrong. But as for the fishing guys, the fishing out here is insane. Which kind of makes sense because the people that'd be staying in those houses, they uh, they probably got better things to do than try to catch a bass. But from what you guys noticed, as the day went on, the fish got bigger. And so here's the plan for the second half of the video. Instead of flipping to every single fish I see, I'm gonna specifically target the big ones. I'm gonna go back out there. I'm basically gonna be walking the bank. I'll walk like four miles today. I'm ready for this. And I ain't gonna even flip to a fish that's under four pounds. Well, can't say I expected to see you here, but uh, that's just, that's where the video ended. I didn't catch no more fish. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense to me, but I didn't catch any more fish. Yeah, but for real, like, I was thinking smacking them that day. Here's a little fun note. Everything you saw in Tuesday's video and this video was literally in the same day. I was there for like five days. The other four days, nothing happened at all. And I tried a lot. But yeah, that's the last video from the Florida trip. I, ju I just don't know. Florida didn't perform this week. But... Just like in Tuesday's video, I mentioned the KG Spring Fishing Sale. We do this like every year. 10% off, all caps, SPRING10. Use that promo code on kindlegrade1.com slash shop or first link in the description. It's 10% off all fishing stuff. Just in case you don't know, that website is like where all my merch is and all the fishing stuff I made. There's a lot of it you saw in the video. That's where you can pick it up. And right now it's a pretty special time because you can get 10% off. So go check that out. Pick you up some fishing stuff because it is time for fishing season and turkey season. You'll be seeing that real soon. Subscribe if you're not already and turn on those post notifications because we have big things coming very soon. Get ready for it guys. You're not going to want to miss this. <laughs>